Work on the Savannah Arena project continues tonight. City Council approves the maximum construction cost a little more than $147 million, but many council members are concerned about what kind of impact this new arena would have on the community. WJCL's Jackson Kurtz is live from the site of where the new arena is scheduled to be built soon. Jackson. Well, with today's approval of the vote for construction costs in two weeks, city officials say they'll meet up again with ways to maximize local employment with the project and hopefully bring more jobs to Savannah. Now, at City Council's workshop this morning, City Council members, contractors, and city officials discussed the timeline of the project, which started in 2018, the actual construction, and the aspects of what it's going to take to build the arena, like arena seats, security, and other services. Now, right now, contractors say they're projecting about 26% of participation of disadvantaged business enterprise or DBE, which brings job opportunities to minority owners who will be working in the arena. But many city council members, including Alderwoman Linda Wilder Bryan, says there needs to be more of an investment of opportunities for people who live and work in the community. I want to see actual uh, people from our communities who are disadvantaged and have actual contracts. We, we want more people from our community to represent us, the businesses, the, the, the people who live here. In addition to everything that's going on, people are wanting to see that there's some equity in this. Now, contractors did say right now they have about 20% of workers on the job who are from Chatham County, but are pushing to have more local labor. Now, council members also raised concerns about the arena's use post-COVID-19 since the virus has put a halt to most activities with large groups. In Savannah, Jackson Kurtz, WJCL 22 News.